Got gotcha, you, didn't I? Okay, but enough of me. Let's get to the business at hand here, which is the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Class of 2K11. Now, of course, we all know that I'm a big fan of rock and roll. I'm, I'm, I'm a soldier. I mean, I mean, yeah, I really definitely think the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is something sacred. As someone who is starting my own band, it's definitely something I want to look look into getting to. But on to the predictions here. First of all, perhaps the most disappointing news of all. For the 11th year straight, even being on the ballot for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame has eluded perhaps one of the greatest glam rock bands of all time, KISS. No, I'm not kidding. People still have not put it on the ballot for 11 years straight. They, they haven't had, yeah, 12 years ago they had like a wing given to them. But how could they not be on the ballot? And if they were on the ballot, how do they not get in? But. On to the major things. But first, I'll start with the nominees. Now, I, I, I only learned some of the nominees' names today. I, I probably haven't heard most of their music, so I may not remember all the nominees. If you know the nominees, please put them in the comments section. That'll help out a lot. First off, the first nominee, who I think is a sitch to get in, Alice Frickin'. Cooper. Now, for some reason, whatever reason I can't understand, for whatever God only known reason, the people on the website, futurerocklegends.com, I think, for some reason they decided that Alice Cooper only had a 44% chance of getting into the Hall of Fame this year. One, one thing to say to that. WHAT THE HECK IS WRONG WITH YOU?! Alice Cooper with a 44% chance? Come on! This is Alice freaking Cooper we're talking about! That's just plain stupid, if you ask me, but that's not the worst part. I'm gonna get to the worst part later. Next, of course, there's another nominee for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which I really think is taking Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a bit of a loose term. I speak, of course, of the fact that they're going to throw the Beastie Boys into it. Yeah. And for this one, the website actually had its crap together as it said it, that the Beastie Boys had an 82% chance of getting in. Like twice as much as Alice Cooper did. I really don't agree with that. But another major nominee is Bon Jovi. You know that's going to be the sissy favorite because I never really liked too much of their music. Yeah, they had a good song with me here and there, but... I never really cared for them that much. Um, I looked on the website, and they had like a 35% chance of getting in. I mean, I, I'd like for Bon Jovi to be in the Hall of Fame, to tell you the truth. I don't have anything against them. I just don't really like their music too terribly much. But it's the fact that they keep themselves from making stupid decisions, you know. Then another major nominee is the Jay Giles Band. You may know them from a song called Centerfold. It had a little keyboard thing that went... You know what I'm saying? That's the Jay Giles Band. Now, as far as the Jay Giles Band goes, I believe they had like a 12-15% chance of getting into the Hall of Fame this year. I don't know, that's kind of overestimating it if you ask me. Because I never really thought the Jay Giles band was that good. I only liked, like, maybe two songs by them. One of them, obviously, Centerfold, because how can you not like that song? And two is Freeze Frame. But again, I really don't know how certain I am they deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. I mean, maybe there's some other songs I haven't heard of yet. I mean, if you, if you know any songs that are worth listening to by the Jay Giles band, by all means, leave them in the comments. I'll, I'll take a look at them, you know, when I feel like it. But other, But I digress. Another major nominee, Donna Summer. Donna Summer. I mean, I know she's a major name, but I, still, I mean, um, she was like back during the disco era. 
And let's face it, the odds of a disco group getting into the Hall of Fame is slim to none. I'd understand the Bee Gees getting in there, but I think they already are. So, uh, Donna Summer, I really don't like your chances, but apparently the website does because it gave her a 44. Wait, maybe, let me check it out a little bit. No, it was, I think it was like a 56. Six. Yeah, I think it was 56. But here's one nominee that I'm sure is going to get all the, all the rap bands jumping, jumping. Yeah, that was really bad. Brace yourself for this one. Freaking Cool J! No, I'm not kidding. LL Cool J. His odds are actually pretty good, too, compared to most others. He's got a 44% chance of getting in. Yeah, I think it was 56% with Donna Summer. But anyway, LL, I definitely think he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame, because, really, he's one of the few rappers from all time that I can actually tolerate, you know? Especially ones from uh, today, who's still making music today, you know? LL's still making his music. I, I definitely appreciate that. He's probably one of the few things that's keeping me a rap uh, fan of certain rap still. Um, uh, let's see, who else is there? Uh, oh, here's a major one. Neil Diamond. You recognize that name, don't you? You should, because it's a household name in rock and roll. Everyone loves Neil Diamond, except the people who created the freaking website. Believe it or not, the dumbasses who run the site gave Neil Diamond only a 9% chance. Are you BSing me here? 9% Neil Diamond? No! And if any of you know who Neil Diamond is, you know why I'm so agitated about this. The, 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 the fact that Alice Cooper got any less than almost 100% is just plain stupid in itself. And then there's also the fact that Bon Jovi and the Beastie Boys are getting in before Kiss, which I really do not like too terribly much. But I digress again, and I still don't really like the thought of him being having a lower chance of getting in than LL Cool J. I mean, I like LL, don't get me wrong. But... Fact is, uh, LL, I like it, but I like the, Neil Diamond a little more. Um, that's all the nominees I can really think of. And now I know they induct five to seven every year. So here's what I think. Um, oh no, wait, here's another major nominee, one you may not have heard of because it's like disco era. Chick. C H I C. Go look them up. They were given. A 30, no, it wasn't a 30, I think it was like a 16% chance, maybe? I'll have to double check. Um, but anyway, on to the real matter at hand here. Who are the five that I think are going to get in? Now, keep in mind, the opinions and views expressed here on Sketch TV do not necessarily reflect the thoughts and views of the rest of Sketch TV. These opinions are mine, they may be someone else's on Sketch TV, but I don't really know. Now, who are the five I think are going to get in? Hmm. I'm, I'm just going to go with stating the obvious here. Alice Cooper's getting in, I know that. I mean, who wouldn't vote for Alice Cooper? I mean, look at all the people he's influenced here. Twisted Sister. Ozzy Osbourne. Kiss, for one. Um... Rob Zombie, White Zombie, I mean, if it's, if it's, Marilyn freaking Manson. How can you not throw someone in the Hall of Fame who's influenced that many major artists? It just, it just lacks even the most basic logic, if you ask me. But that's just me. I don't know how everyone else feels. Um. So I definitely think Alice Cooper has the best odds. Now, the Beastie Boys, I definitely think they deserve to get in. Because they are, like, one of my favorite rap groups of all time. Probably, you know... They, they still top the Insane Clown Posse in my book. I'm still a juggalo, you know? But I, I just like the Beasties a little more, along with other rap groups, uh, like Run DMC. I like Limp Bizkit and Rage Against the Machine. That's right, I'm a juggalo, and I like Limp Bizkit and Rage Against the Machine. Deal with it. 
Um. So yeah, Alice Cooper, BC Boys, that's a sitch. Now, Neil Diamond, he's got to get into the Hall of Fame. I mean, how, how do you not throw someone, a legend like Neil Diamond into the Hall of Fame? Hmm? How? It's just that. I mean, the 9% chance, that's total BS. I want to, I just want to go to whoever wrote that and just give him a little, and just give him a little right on top of the skull and say, what the hell were you thinking? Sorry about that. The Jay Giles band, I really don't think they're going to get in. Because they're like two hit wonders. You know, they're, they're, they're a two hit wonder. And, you know, I, I really don't see them in the Hall of Fame. I don't see them as legends. Because the fact that... Okay, sorry for jump cut there. If you notice, my brother walked into the room. I really couldn't afford to, like, compromise my position. Damn it, on my iPod. Anyway... I really don't see the Jay Giles band in there. LL Cool J. Now, that guy I can see in the Hall of Fame because he revolutionized rap as we know it. Rap as we know it probably wouldn't exist without LL. And when you really think about it, Donna Summer getting into the Hall of Fame, I'm kind of... Well, the personally, I don't think Donna Summer should be in the Hall of Fame. You can disagree with me if you want, but don't just leave a comment behind totally freaking raging at me like, No, that's not going to cut it. No, let me look at a few bands they overlooked here. Nah, I'm kidding. Aren't I just a jackass? Um, I really can't find much else to say here. So let's see, the, here are my five predictions. No particular order here. Um, on who I think will get in, not who I think should get in. Alice Cooper. Beastie Boys. Neil Diamond. LL Cool J. And as much as I really don't like them too much, Bon Jovi. I think they're going to get in. I mean, the boating is done, and, and people know Bon Jovi. People are going to put him in the Hall of Fame. I don't necessarily like it, but eh, that's the way the cookie crumbles. So there you go. If you have anything to say about this video, go ahead and leave a comment. If you don't, well, whatever. Just uh, give me your thoughts on it. Like it. Dislike it. Do whatever. Um, so there you go. You may notice I didn't use my usual intro. This is a bit of a special video. It's not necessarily a maxed out rant or anything like that, but uh, this, this is just a little explanation. Uh... This really isn't an official video. This is more of a special, you know? So so I'm not going to be using my usual intro for this video. You probably saw it earlier. If you like the intro I use, then by all means, go ahead and, and, and tell me so. I'll keep it around. And as far as I am concerned... Oh, good, he did break it. Give me a second here. This takes a moment. You know what? Just cut the camera. I'll let you know when I'm done. Okay, I'm back. So, till next time, this is GNRSTV911, and I'll see you in hell.